if you're too nervous and it gets in the way of you articulating who you are and what you're going to do in America. Guys, fear can get in the way of your coherent speech. Fear can get in the way of what you hear. You don't want to be that person that will go to the embassy and keep saying, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. That will annoy and irritate them. And that will make it so easy for them to deny you a visa. You know, in their mind, they know you need them, right? Just have it in your mind that I need to make myself understood. Have it, in, have it together just for five minutes, guys. Just five minutes of your life that is so important that will decide the rest of your life. And you know what, guys? Like anyone else, the counselors, they want their job to be easy. So repeating themselves or struggling with hearing or understanding you won't help your case. They're working under pressure. People are in line behind you. And they're not patient because of the big workload. They have a lot to do. The consular officer you'll be talking to possibly interviews about 100 people a day. That is a lot of pressure for them. So to them, you're just the next number, but to you, their decision is a possible life-changing moment. So don't let your nervousness get in the way of your dreams. And I can understand, you know, a lot is at stake, but know yourself, know yourself. If you're prone to nervousness, practice relaxing methods to calm your nerves. Start a week ahead of time. Listen to calming and relaxing music, music every day for a week for your interview. Pray, meditate, and don't forget exercise. You have no idea how just taking a walk daily, running, or going to the gym, it takes off that edge. It, it relaxes you. But the best, best, best thing is prepare for your interview. Know your school facts, know your sponsor, know you, what is in your I-20. Prepare for questions and practice with your siblings, with your friend. I'm going to drop a, a video of possible interview questions. And I, like I always say, don't memorize, but know your storyline. Practice. Don't forget the embassy is allowed to give unlimited student visas per day. They can even give a million visas. So this visa right here in front of you, the possibility is unlimited. So if you don't get it, guys, it is something that you did not do. Seriously, most likely 99.9% .9 is going to be your failure. But prepare, prepare, prepare. Don't take it lightly. It's only going to be five minutes, but you want your story to come out as naturally and authentic as possible right tell it to your brother tell it to your cat if you don't have your brother around if you live around tell them about the university you're gonna go to tell them about um, the reason you're going there tell them about your course tell them about your job prospects tell them about how you're funding it tell them about what your sponsor does right practice until it comes out so naturally and remember to always look for opportunities. They are not, some, sometimes they're not gonna ask direct questions and I will share in my next clip. They're not gonna ask direct questions, but look for opportunities. Look for opportunities to show your intention, to show that you are genuine, to show intent to return to your home country. And just relax, it's gonna be okay. It's just someone you don't know that is interviewing you. you. You probably are never gonna encounter them again. And you know what? God is with you. Like I said, practice relaxation methods. If prayer is your thing, pray that morning. Or did I just say pray? <laughs> My goodness, I sound like a preacher. Let's pray. It sounds like so powerful. Let's pray, right? Pray. Let's, let's put jokes ahead. Pray. If meditation is your thing, just hold it. Do what? Hmm. You can do um, 
and center your thoughts for a minute, for five minutes a day, and just relax, relax. You're going to be okay. Already, see you in my next clip.